Uh, today I wanted to go back into Goju um, because it's an interesting system. It's an older system, came out of um, China or was influenced heavily by the Chinese martial arts and brought back to Okinawa, much like the Pongai Nun system or the Weichi Ru system. Uh, I've worked on that for many, many uh, years, decades as a matter of fact, to uncover the secrets of the Bubishi and they're all within that art. Now, that art in the Goju, they study three main animals. Now, in Goju, you study mostly the crane. And in the Weichi, modern Weichi, they say they study the tiger and the crane, but they apply the, um, the techniques more like the crane. Once in a while, they'll grab someone, pull them into a strike, like in sparring or in their kumites. Um, but for the most part, they don't understand the, the tiger attack on the body. It's more ballistic, um, such as the crane, trying to penetrate with hard, sharpened weapons like um, the toe kicks and the, the single digit um, finger strikes and the power. Same with the, um, the goju. They condition, they train, they've got the low kicks uh, for attacking, but it's all ballistic in nature. It's not the tearing, pulling. Um, of the real tiger. It's the um, more the ballistics of the crane. But there's a third animal that's involved. And in if you look at a yin and yang symbol, you have two main um, swirls or two main um, uh, uh, shapes of the yin and the yang that everybody's familiar with. And uh, those are uh, one's black, one's white. Of course, there's, of course, there's a little bit of white in the black and a little bit of black in the white just uh, symbolizing that you can change or intersperse and each animal has a trait of the other animal within it and still being that animal. But there's a third animal and nobody really pays attention to that S shape that's coming down through the center, all right, and that and forms the circle and then the S shape. That's the, um, the symbol of the dragon. The dragon is a coiling animal that floats through the sky, there's clouds, um, and through life in a coiling, spiraling manner. Okay, so it's the embodiment of the tiger and the crane. Now, um, the crane, <clears throat> as mentioned earlier, is the um, tencho kata. It's attacking the nerve system. And it's, uh, the reason why we say it's the white crane is it's because it's a yang animal. It's got an outward expression of power. It always strikes out a beak, uh, the, the wings, the claw. It will uh, harpoon with those, those instruments. Very rarely does it try to bite, and very rarely does it try to um, claw. All right, now the tiger on the other, other aspect is almost all pulling and concussion. It's compressing and it's, it's pulling toward it with its claws. Now that is a tearing a type of an action, all right? And that's an inward type of an action, hence the yin, hence the um, designation for black tiger or the black part of the yin and the yang. Well, there's a third animal and a third kata. Um, now the, the first kata, as I mentioned, was tencho for the crane. The black tiger is the seunchen, which I have mentioned on many different um, videotapes. Now, please understand, I'm not a Goju-ru uh, practitioner. I do a couple katas, have been interested in a long period of time. I know a little bit of the history. I know a little bit of the kata situations, practice a few. I'm, no, um, I'm not Don ranked in uh, Goju. However, I'm a, a student of martial arts and have been for many decades. And what I see is the bubishi is actually um, uh, right in front of our faces within the Panganun system and the Gojiru system with the three animals, the, the, the crane, uh, the tiger, and of course the dragon. Now in Weichiru, uh, we understand that the, um, the Sanchin is the tiger, the Seisan is the crane, and the Sanseiru is the dragon. They have three katas befitting the, uh, the art, the style. All right, and there's that fourth kata, the super empai, which I believe was um, uh, added to work the sixth 
hand, and I don't want to get into it in this video. But um, in the Goju system, we have the Tencho, which is the crane, which um, it utilizes the the iron shirt of the um, Sanchin, and also the flowing hands, the six hands from Rokushu or uh, the earlier Kata version Rokushu, um, or uh, what's known as turning palms, the six G hands of Shaolin, before they had taken out the um, the real essence in the early 1920s and turned uh, karate, which was the um, China hand, into karate, the empty hand. They took away the Kyusho, they took away the, um, the specialized tools in, in most of their work and clenched the fist as opposed to keeping the open hand of a blood pool hand or the clawing position for a fisted position. I'll get into that in a, a later video as well because it's an interesting um, correlation. All right, but what's the third kata? What's the um, uh, the dragon style of uh, Gojuru? All right, again, we have the Tencho for the crane, the Seuchen for the tiger. What is the dragon? Well, if you talk to a lot of historians and you look back in time, there is a missing kata out of the Goju system. And very few know about it, very few talk about it, but it's there. It's called the Naifanchi, or the Naihanchi, or the Naihanch, or the Naifanchin. Okay, there's many different names. Everybody rec recognizes the kata. That kata was uh, originally reported to be in the Goju system and since falling away. The Nahanchi kata, Naifanchi, whatever we want to call it, uh, was a spiraling body. You do the crossover steps where the foot is twisted. If you uncoil that, instead of going in the straight line and you walk the circle like Bagua, another dragon type of um, martial art, you're going to see the pattern of the dragon with the, the crossing hands, okay, and the, the twisting bodies and the rotations and everything of that nature. That is your dragon, okay, and it's a synthesis of your uh, white crane of the Tencho, your uh, black tiger of the Seuchen, unto a, a, its own kata. And it has the qualities of both naturally as it forms a third quality. Now, this third quality goes very, very deep. And uh, just knowing the yin and the yang of it, like grabbing someone, pulling them into a punch, is not the quality, okay? It goes deep into the subconscious brain and the physiological functionality of the human body when we use the dragon attributes. There are tiger attributes. It's not just pulling. It is a different attribute that, uh, again, affects your subconscious. Your, um, your brainstem area of the body, and also with the crane, same thing. There are, are physical attributes you can see, like striking would be a crane. Grabbing and pulling would be a tiger, okay? Grabbing and pulling into the punch, as I just mentioned, would be like a dragon because you have the both animals of the crane and the tiger, but with a third element. But there's much deeper uh, physiological aspects to these that affect the whole internal body of, uh, of the individual. This is called the body change. It's not as simple as doing sanchin or push-ups where you strengthen and fortify the body. Yes, that is a body change, but there's a deeper internal change that we can affect with our martial arts. And that's what those three animals also um, have attributes for and develop. And it's um, a very difficult thing to accomplish. And it takes a lot of study and a lot of practice to get hands-on so it's not just all theoretical in your brain. We've been working on this for well over a decade in um, the Kyushu International Training for People. We've been working on it prior to that with um, the medical sciences as well as the, um, the physical sciences, uh, measuring brain waves, um, measuring uh, body functions, measuring body statistics like uh, the blood pressure and whatnot. So we've delved deep into this subject, and it is embodied in the Bubishi. The Bubishi talks about it in a very um, discreet way that most haven't picked up on yet, but it also transfers into those two martial arts in particular. Most martial arts can have those, okay, but these two martial arts of the Weichiru uh, or Pungainum and the Gojuru systems, um, they're really deeply involved with this, and that's probably why Miyagi stated that uh, the uh, Bubishi was the Bible of Karate. Unfortunately, he didn't pass on the internal information of that Bubishi and why he uh, justified it as the Bible of Karate, but that's what we're doing here on this channel and in Kyushu International. 
we're breaking that information down for you. Again, I'll put some links down uh, down below. Uh, I might do a, a Patreon video on this and also a Platinum uh, version, uh, but time will tell. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, thumbs up on the video if you want more to keep coming. Uh, visit the Patreon site where you'll get a greater depth of information and an even greater depth of information in the Platinum subscription, subscription linked below. Thanks for watching.